Hey guys, GumbleFan15 here, and this is going to be a quick little review of the high grade reversible Gundam. Um, I'm not going to be doing, you know, showing any articulation or or the transformations. You know, if you want to see that, there's plenty of other videos out there. I'm mainly just going to focus on what I personally did with this kit. Now, I might show a few little points here and there, but nothing major. Um, when I saw this kit in uh, in Build Fighters. I absolutely fell in love with it. I love how it looked, how it performed, and just that episode in general was amazing. Um, <clears throat> I mainly got it just because of how it looks in its uh, normal Gundam form. I don't particularly care for the the tank mode or the cannon mode. I mean that it looked the the cannon mode looks okay. But when you look at it from the back, it's just horrible. And then the, the tank mode, it's a joke. But that aside, I do how I do love how this thing looks. Um, you know, the the cream, you know, I, I wish it would have been, you know, a different color. I mean, right out of the box, it looks like straight resin. But, you know, it is what it is. All the rest of the other color separations, you know, the, the white and the little bit of gray all throughout it, and the, the dark gray, make it look really, really well. Um, I didn't use any stickers on this except for two. Um, I used it for the one little piece for the camera up here and uh, for the eyes, just because I, I haven't really figured out how to make the eyes yet. Um, <clears throat> all the rest of it I did paint you know, it, this thing was layered with black stickers and a, a big green sticker uh, but you know I just decided to just mask it and paint it and for the most part it all came out pretty well um, I don't have the steadiest hand that's why that's why I airbrush so when it comes comes to actually hand painting you know, I'm, I'm not the best but you know I like I like how it turned out for the most part. Um, a few little mistakes I made here and there, um, right up here. If you can see it, the uh, lines here. I painted it. I don't know actually, uh, this line is a, a panel line up here, and the vents was just regular paint. Um, when I top coated it with a spray can it just caused it to run a little bit same thing with a few other places around here uh, some some pieces I top coated with future and the other pieces I just was lazy and didn't want to really want to put in that much work so I just top coated it with a spray can and some of it ran but some of it stayed put so you know it, it it's fine you know I didn't put a heck of a lot of work into this but you know it is what it is. A um, few other little painting things I did uh, up here, uh, where the green is. There was supposed to be a green foil sticker, but I decided to paint that a, a, a nice fluorescent green. Uh, it took a couple coats, but you know I like that better than the sticker. And then the clear piece here to get it nice and shiny and make it look like glass instead of just plastic. I dipped it in future and then let it dry. It and I put it on there and uh, you do that with any clear pe with any clear plastic piece it's gonna make it look a lot thinner to make it look like glass and make it very shiny too same thing with a little piece up here um, on his guns um, uh, okay now I did I did use two stickers here uh, there's a black strip with a little green stripe up on the guns I put that there and but then I also painted black a little bit farther down um, I've got gold on, on the sides as well as a uh, some uh, chrome here same thing here I've got uh, a gold with chrome chrome on the little tips uh, same thing on his backpack here um, legs I painted that with you know black black up here Pretty much everything that's black has been hand painted, and uh, you know, like I said, I don't have don't have the steadiest hand or the best brush right now, but I like how it's how it has turned out. So, 
And when you get it up on its stand, it, you really can't tell. Um, I do love all the panel lines all throughout this kit. Um, <clears throat> you know, I'm a panel line junkie, and normally for some high grades, they don't have a lot, but this one did. And I really enjoy that. Um, the backpack looks really, really cool. Um, the uh, arms on the sides, you know, they can come down and fold around and stuff. But, like I said, that's mainly for the transformation, and I don't really, you know, I don't want to show that. Uh, one of the things I will show is a little bit of extra pieces you do get with this kit. Um, you do get two beam saber handles, but you only get one beam effect part, and it is clear, and instead of rounded like most uh, beam sabers, it's flat. So, starts off big here, then comes to a point, but it's flat. So, if you want to paint it, you know, there's plenty of clear colors out there to make it look like however you want. Um, you do get these two little uh, hand options here for when it's in uh, cannon mode. So, pretty cool. I think maybe it might be able to hold a beam saber, maybe if you glue it, but it's mainly just for looks. And as far as extra parts go, um, since this is based off the Reborn's Gundam, you do get uh, two little GN drives. Uh, I do ha I am going to be using these for another kit. I'm just going to have to do some sanding, maybe get some putty and something to fill these in, but this is going to be coming in handy later on. And you do get enough pieces to make the head for the Reborn's Gundam back in the, uh, the cannon mode. Does it have a nice little clear piece that goes in goes in there? Focus. Yeah. And then you almost have enough parts to have a f um, the rifle from the Reborn's Gundam. Uh, I think there's just one piece missing here, and I might be something on the end. I'm not not entirely sure. I never built it, but I just know that these are uh, extra pieces for it. So. You know, you could probably kit bash this with something else. And also, almost enough pieces to make uh, his shield. I think there's a red piece and maybe a yellow piece missing out of it. But, again, nice extra parts. So. Uh, all in all, I would highly recommend buying this kit. Uh, simply for the fact of how it looks just in its base form. Oh, uh, one other thing I forgot to do, or forgot to mention. Uh, I did shave down the safety flags on the uh, on his horns or sorry his his uh, v-fin so i don't understand why they even have the safety flags on the high grades but you know anyways um yeah definitely go get this kit don't care much for the transformation but he does look pretty awesome just like this all right guys that's gonna about do it for this video um, don't forget to subscribe for more content drop a like on this video if you enjoyed it as always there'll be a link in the description to our facebook group mississippi gunnam and gumpla make sure to check that out all right see you next time